Hey everyone, it's Maddie and welcome back to another video where today I'm really excited because um, I just got these in the mail um, from Chapters. Uh, they were on sale. This is in Canadian dollars, sorry. Um, this one was about 25 but I got it for 20 I ordered them online, that's why you can't see. And then this one was originally 26 and I got this one also for 20 so it was a really good deal because uh, I got free shipping since my order was over $25 and it got here within three days. So I've heard a lot of things about both of these, um, good and bad. This one I've heard mostly good reviews just because it's nothing special from other moleskin books. Um, but it's this one where I've heard um, some complaints, uh, but also some people really liked it. Uh, so it was very up and down, so I wanted to see what I have to say on these. So I have not opened these yet at all. Here it is. So this. 2017-18 and um, it goes from July 2017 to December 2018 um, and it also says it has a 2019 overview so I don't know um, one thing I noticed right away is mm, in the past I've seen other um, moleskin planners not mine but a friend of mine she had the Peanuts uh, limited edition, and it had a very uh, fabric-y, like almost like a shirt texture. You know, you could see it had like threads. Uh, when she used it a lot, the side was there was a little like bit of like thread that started to like pull out, so you have to cut it off. But this one, like I knew by looking at it, but also by feeling it, it's it's not leather, but it's like it feels like leather, and you can see it kind of looks like that as well um yeah the the string um it's kind of it's kind of loose it's i mean like it it does give back but i feel like after opening it like every day like five times it'll wear down pretty quickly put that aside so Um, okay, uh, so like the first thing I noticed, I'm, um, okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna warn you, I'm a very must-be-perfect person. So the first thing I noticed is that I can see, um, that the excess material was folded over, and this was shipped, and it had that plax plastic holding it together very tightly, so I can see if it, like, bothers you, I left, like, a little indent, which I don't really mind that much. Um, in case of loss, please return to, and then there's a little as a reward. Um, pretty sure that's in all the, uh, planners and like, hardcover moleskin. So this first page, like most moleskin, is thicker than the other. So 2017, 2018, there's also, it says, personalize your diary with downloadable templates from moleskin.com slash diary add-ons. Um, first thing I notice here is that I can see an outline of what is behind this uh, page. So this is just personal data page. This is 2017. Hurry up for the notes. Okay, and then here we have the first months of 2017. So this is going to start pretty much when my other agenda ends. Um, it's June right now, so this I know is the moon. Those little circles, and then August. Okay, so this is pretty much all the months of 2000. Okay, so this isn't, I guess, the 2017 planner, so it's showing us everything right away. And then we have 2018 and then 2019, followed by all the months of 2018. 
Okay. So this is just, uh, I think, this is uh, holidays, international holidays. So it's kind of like a little graph. Here you can see um, it has written a bunch of countries and then the months. And then I'm assuming that this is the day of the month. So it'll tell you this where celebrates what. This is time zones. So these are just information pages, measures and conversions. Okay, dialing codes. Um, it says my place is check. Travel planning, so destination, date, and notes. Uh, extraordinary moments this year. Um, so this is, a, see it probably just looks aligned this is a dotted page so something that you would see mostly in a bullet journal um, okay make this space your own at moleskeen.com slash msk and then here uh, it's an outline of the world <laughs> so it's just a map uh, all dotted okay so so this is to mark your journeys. Timetable, I guess, for like scheduling, work, school. Okay. Um, and then here we have a, sorry, you can't really see, it's not very focused. There you go. Uh, okay, it has, let me just, okay, so that's around seven, almost eight inches of a ruler there. Uh, I guess you can write things down um, focus, please. Thank you. I guess you can write things down next to the measurements if you wanted to. This is neat. This page right here has a legend at the bottom. Um, it says, it tells you for public holidays, new moon, first quarter, etc. And then the next page is the actual beginning of the um, planner. So we have June, and then here it tells us, I guess, that there's going to be like a moon there. And then we have each day, and then notes, each day, and then notes, and so forth. And I'm pretty sure that after a couple, will we get? No, we won't. Okay, so um, one thing that I'm going to say just check to see before I speak too soon. Okay, so as you can see, we have all weeks very uninterrupted, uh, just notes, weeks, notes, weeks. One thing that I say, I guess it isn't bad, but what I'm used to is like all my other planners. Um, give me a moment, I'll show you. Okay, let me just put this aside. My current planner that I'm using as of right now, uh, excuse me, it's very, uh, like, not very <laughs> good condition. Um, one thing that I really like about this one is here, let me just show you something that I haven't written in already. Okay, so here, let's say August 2017. Okay, let's actually start from July. So. It gives every day, um, it's your space to write, the weekends, and then your notes. That, and then there's like a little quote, but I really like how each new month, it gives you the little monthly calendar and the notes, and then shows you the weeks. So it's like, it's breaking it up. So at the very beginning, it shows you the year, and then it shows you the month, and then the weeks, and then after you go through all of those, and then it'll change to a different color and give you the new one and then those weeks. That's something that most of my planners have had that I really like. Um, right off the bat, and then, one thing, sorry. In the back here, there's just a bunch of space for notes. But this one, on the other hand, I thought this might happen when I was going through it in the beginning. Uh, I could just see all the months, or this further back, yeah, all the months are listed out here. And then we're given the 
each week. But there's no separation in between each month with the month page. Um, something that might not bother you, I don't think it makes this uh, planner bad, um, but if it was arranged like that, that would just be a bonus in my opinion. Um, so that's just one thing. I like how they're very easily like separated in the other planners. Um, one thing I do notice though is I think when I was flipping through one of the pages, I may have like crimpled one of them. It's here. Right there, there's like a little crimple. And then if I skip ahead, like 10 pages, it's still there. Oops, sorry. And then I skip ahead and it's still there. You see that little, it's like always there. Like this is like a lot of pages I'm skipping. It's like throughout the entire, like even at like the last page. Look, that very thick page at the end, it's there. That, that couldn't have been me. I'm not that strong when I flip pages. But this, this paper is very thin. Um, because you can see the lines from the back. Um, I don't, let me take out this thing, what does it say? Uh, I can't read, where is it? Oh, uh, I'm gonna have to look after, I'll insert it on the page. But I know this paper is very thin, so if you're using like a gel pen, it'll probably most most definitely i can say with quite a bit of certainty show up on the next page that's another thing that i'm not too happy about is how it would transfer very very easily one two three four five, five six. okay so five there's five pages and this one's kind of half of it it's, it's usable because this is just nine so there's also a pouch I find it really cute how the pouch is like color coordinated with the color of the book. This is the elm green, I'm pretty sure. Um, so just put those back in there. So this is the elm green. So it has like, yes, the pouch, which comes with, I'm pretty sure it comes with the history of moleskin. So wait, this has like one little ripple. I'm pretty sure the big one has two, but it opens that much. I'd say like two inches wide open it all the way okay so here are these sticker sheets so we have okay so this one right here there's actually 132 stickers um, because of this little sticker it's on all the, the sheets so the, there's an alphabet one, and then just some little designs. This is, I think, like the road trip, I would say, section. Um, mostly that's what I see. And then there's just some off random ones. These aren't that cute. I like the very kawaii sticker. <laughs> this one is just random little icons. Destination points, stars, just for marking. I would probably use these more in the month section, to be honest. And then just the, you get, oh, oh, hidden quality control, thank you. So it's just the history of Moleskin in a bunch of different languages. So, yeah. That's it for this one. This second one, um, I got this because this summer I'm going to be going on vacation. And this is from the Passions Collection. Um, they show you on the back which one and which options there are. Um, there's 21 in total Passions like books. I obviously have the Traveler's Journal. Um, here's the back, dimensions, information. And then in the front, they say Moleskin photo books and photo albums, discount code inside. And I know that you can also just put the personalized pages uh, in here also. So I'm just gonna open that. I wish there was some sort of film opening job because that is so satisfying to just cut it and have the knife slide along and then peel it off. 
I would pay people, it would be like an empty job, I would pay them to peel off the, the film on their, <laughs> on anything, pretty much. So, same kind of layout, it has the little tag, excuse me, bookmark. Um, actually, something right off is, I, this one is a little bit tighter than this one. It's not like super indented, I don't know if you can tell. But I see there's something trying to escape, so let me check. That might be the code. Yeah, sorry. You can't you can't see they they give you a little paper that has a code on the other side. Um okay, so this one when I open it, it doesn't open this fully. It's like, I mean it does, but it struggles more when it, when it opens. It's the other one, it stayed open. So, so that, because I think there's, is there more pages? Um, I, this actually looks a little bigger to be honest. Um, I don't know, this one just, the spine is like more broken, I guess. Same rewards page. Traveler's Journal. Here, there is a table of contents, which the other one didn't have, I don't think. Personal details. Airline loyalty cards. Don't forget, this is a checklist. Um, okay, so, um, okay, yeah. So this one, you can see it's very fine. This is not leading to the other page, I thought it was, but this is actually just, I think, printed very finely now. I don't know. I, what they did here is, it, it makes it look like it's different sections, but it's not. The lines and the circles are part of this page, so it's just the checklist. So, oh, that's weird. Okay, so this has 2013. Oh, yeah. Um, one thing that I heard people saying is that this has like a bunch of calendars because it's like a travel journal. You know, you're going to have it for more than two years. So it goes all the way to 2020, but I mean, that's, that's, it's 2017. That's still like three years. Well, like I guess you could say two by the time I'm, I'm used to this, but like from 2013 to 2020 for someone who's in 2017 is not that helpful. If it was like from 2017, like if there was a new copy made every two or three years, like either from 2016, you know, from to, to 2023, it would be a lot better. So I don't know when they update it. I'm hoping it's not 2020 that they update it because poor people who buy it in 2020 are going to have one year that they can use. Um, but yeah, uh, one thing that I they could maybe update a little um, destinations and years this is just a note page you could use it as an itinerary I don't know anything again time zones temperatures and days of rain international airports um, international airports so flight durations I guess it's approximately Words and names. Okay, so this is like what the actual ba basic uh, main layout is, is to have here. Let me just look so you can don't see it shining through the other page. Is, <clears throat> so you just have this shaded area 
blank area and then the blank. It's actually blank, it looks lined. It's blank area. So you can see there are tabs. So the ones that it comes with is wish list planning, weekends, short trips, and long trips. So this just says Traveler's Journal destinations, names, notes. So these are places I guess you want to go. Right, it's your wish list. And then we have in planning. Well, it's very thin. I was expecting it to be very like a thicker tab. It's the exact same thickness as the rest of the page, just laminated pretty much. Uh, destinations. So uh, where, when, who, what, why, budget, pages. And then this is just a bunch of bu budget and who, what, when, or why pages. Weekends. So here there's a little place for attachments. If you like to draw, um, I love to draw and I love to paint. And I would really like to be able to paint like in here, but <laughs> I can see that these pages are very thin. So I'll probably just be bringing my own watercolor paper or mixed media paper and, um, taping it into the notebook. So before the destination, after memorable moments, there's a little checklist and uh, just a bunch of little information there. And this is the same thing throughout. An another thing that's nice about this is when they give you that blank page in the beginning, if you use it in, as an in index, it's nice because all the pages are numbered. So it's nice if you make yourself an index, you can Pre-numbered pages. So, short trips. Uh, there's a before checklist for those trip places, how to get there. So, this one they give you like a whole page for the memorable moments and a whole page. Sorry, that's my bird. He is being very annoying because he can't come out right now photos and clippings and then that just repeats itself the last section is long trips so for me long trips is like anything more than like a week um before so transport travel companions travel guides so this one it's very different um i think they give you yeah they give you a lot more room for that one and another thing that's nice is that there's there's three bookmarks and there's, there's three page markers in this, so that's handy. I guess if you're having you know three sections that you're doing, that's nice. Um, here, so they give you a full page for the checklist, and then they give you a, a full page um, for the places and dates. So they give you maps and notes, and two full pages for memorable moments and two full pages for pictures. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. Next, there is just more places for that. And then here, this is nice. They give you, oops. Okay, yeah, so after that last two pages for clippings, by the way, these are both uh, blank, it's just, you can see the lines. There's just a blank page, and then ruled, 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 and just a bunch of little pages with these blank indexes. This one's not laminated, by the way. This is one that's not laminated. These are all not laminated. And then, I don't, I don't, one thing I really would have liked is if they would have given us a lot more room for the custom like, can you be quiet, mister? Stop! If they would have given us a lot more room for the customizable sections. Because, <laughs> I'm gonna talk over him, because I find myself like wanting more room of all these blank pages because I'm gonna be going on a big trip, and what if I wanna put in, like, like, I don't know, like 30 little pictures, you know what I mean? Um, and like all my drawings that I'm gonna be doing. For all my trips, this isn't that much room. 
I would have liked if maybe they would have cut down on their pre-made sections and given us more room for the customizable ones because I feel like the journal is more about customizing than it is like already set because it's 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 a personal it's diary it's it's very customized right so you're gonna want that to be able to adjust to what you want so I would have liked you know, if they gave us more than like three pages per section. I don't know if these are all the same amount of pages, but for this photo clipping one, it goes from it, it goes from page. This is okay. So it goes from page two hundred and nine. Uh, 224 so that's the biggest section and then at the end for all of the rest is just a bunch of, oh I lied there's like I think like seven and then here we have an index aha here's the index you don't have to make one it's at the end it's pretty neat yeah I, I thought that's what it was because you can see that in all of the pages they have this line which I'm assuming is for late naming pages and like labeling the pages okay we've reached the end time for the stickers so these stickers are different than the other stickers i know about again with the folder but this folder has two little indents whereas the other one only had one so this folder opens around I don't know, maybe five, like f around four inches, maybe three. Um, so you have history of moleskin. Oh my god, these are so cute. Wait, let me take them out first. Oh, they're kind of stuck. More, more. That only two. I feel ripped off. <clears throat> you sure that's not? Oh, that's nice. There's, uh, I didn't even there's two little ones. So the other one gave us three sheets of stickers. This one, eh, the customizable ones, I would probably use my own labels because these look very crumpled. But here they gave you pre-made um, little little tags that you could be a rebel and stick over the ones they pre-made. The only problem with that is that it's set for the weekend and it gives you all this crap. Um, not crap. I, it's it's okay. It's good. But this, you know, like for all these, I wish this wasn't wrinkled, but uh, for all these, yeah, customizable sections, you can use these uh, little tickets they give you. And then we have two sheets, stickers, some gray ones. Oh, what's that? Not the same size. No idea what that's for. Have them here too. Oh, I don't know what this is for. It's for when you're done. Pretty sure it's, you put it on the back. That's why they give you that. But yes, this is very travely stuff. <laughs> um, these are technical terms, travely stuff and other stuff. And then um yeah so there's three little things. That's about it. Um it's everything that's in there. Um one of the I have here. I'm gonna just put a little. I'm gonna do say a little list of things that I like about both of them and things that I don't like. Starting with this one because I already have it open. Uh, For the travelers journal, I wish they would have given us more room for the customizable ones. This was like my major thing so that I could have a lot more room for all my pictures and all my uh, drawings and paintings because um, when I'm, I'm gonna be gone for two weeks, um, 
and I'm gonna have a lot of pictures. They're gonna be a very small size here. This is. I have a bunch of pre-sized pieces of paper that I cut out to their dimensions and wrote. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be printing it in like this size, probably gonna cut it in half, or I'll be printing pictures in this size. I'm gonna be getting them done in the next few months. So, even if I do an even smaller size, you know, if I have some like verticals and horizontals, even if I do the edge of the page, I'll be able to fit one like that, and, you know, one like that. But, you know, what if I don't want teeny tiny ones and I want this one or even this one cut in half, you know? It's, I wish it, I could use this almost as a photo album slash sketchbook slash diary. That's what I want. That's what I'm going to use this as is a photo album slash sketchbook slash diary. Um, and just information, I'm going to write down everything. And so I, this is perfect, memorable moments, and that's a few pictures. But then in the back, you know, oh, crap. But then in the back, I want room for all my drawings, you know. I don't know. I don't know. This one, um, I guess kind of on the same topic, topic, but like not really. I just, I wish that the month, oh, I'm sorry. I also wish that this one was like updated every two or three years so that that big thing in the beginning was more accurate. This one, um, I really wish that the papers were slightly thicker so that I couldn't see the ink on the other side bleed through. Like when you have a crappy loose ink and you write on it. Um, and I wish that there were more stickers, they were cuter. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, then please do give it a big fat thumbs up, and I'll see you guys all next time. Goodbye!